Hello, this is Alkirian. Today I'm going to be providing you with a demonstration of the alpha version of Weedworks, an application in which you can generate grass, ground cover, weeds, or whatever else you want. Now today I'm going to be demonstrating uh, the differences in the, all of the controls on Weedworks. Um, for starters, let's go ahead and make um, several clumps of grass. Currently the default is one clump of grass that has a 0% base offset. Let's go ahead and make, say, uh, 20 pieces of grass. This is more or less 20 clumps of grass. Now while it's creating these, it only takes about 5 or 10 seconds. Now you see we have about, about 20 clumps of grass here. They're not individual objects. They're actually all one object with different submeshes or as users of Dark Basic Pro call them limbs. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and modify these 20 so that you can see what the different controls can allow you to do. For starters, let's go ahead and turn up the blades per cluster, which actually requires it to re-render the grass. And there we go. I'm only running at about 20% of the CPU um, resources currently, so it's actually taking a little longer than it normally would if I were to turn it up full bore. Um, it's got full camera controls inside of the application, so you can move around and take a look at the grass. Um, you can even test it out with uh, the camera light option. Turn the light on, turn the light range up, so you can actually see what it would be like if you actually had a torch or something and you're walking through the grass or whatever. So here we are. We're in our grass here. Let's go ahead and start by turning the base offset up. Now this is an interesting thing to do because what it does is it basically displaces the individual blades of grass. And instead of them being small clumps of grass with the central base offset, it's actually small clusters of grass that have more of a ground cover feel to them. As you can see there, more or less turns it into a, a small prairie. Let's turn the camera light off. You'll notice that it's significantly dimmer with the camera light off. Currently it just uses um, normal coloring and normal calculations for the, for the lights and shadows. These are completely light mappable blades of grass. Um, they'll cast shadows, receive shadows, just as any other object within DB Pro would. Now currently, this will export to both DirectX version 9.0 X object and Dark Basic Pro DBO format. I'm going to go ahead and modify a few things here real quick with the grass. Uh, primarily, let's go ahead and turn the light back on real quick. Let's turn the range down a bit. We've got three different coloring um, options here. We've got the primary grass color, secondary, and tertiary grass color, which basically define the colors of the blades. Um, currently, I've only got the random colorization method working. I'm working on angle-based colorization, which allows um, the blades to be colored based upon their angle. So the lower they are, they take on the tertiary grass color. They're in between their base angle and their maximum angle. They take on the secondary color, and if they're up at the top of the uh, maximum angle they'd take the primary coloring. Let's go ahead and modify the coloring real quick. Let's go ahead and make this kind of a yellow yellow grass. And let's go ahead and change the green to kind of a, a dingy brown color. The dingy yellowish brown. Add that to the custom colors. Select it and OK. Now you can definitely see how you can end up with different types of grass this way now. Play with the base offset again. That almost looks like you've got chunks of wheat here now, or grass you'd find somewhere in a prairie or farm or something like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and play with the, uh, the height ratios uh, for the maximum and minimum height. Now you'll actually see the blades of grass grow. Now that's the maximum. You can turn the maximum way down. 
and uh, you'll notice that the minimum track bar also dynamically modifies itself for its height. Turn this down next to nothing here. We got no grass, and boom, there you are. Another thing you can do is you can modify the blade, the individual blade width, which will affect the way the normals are colored significantly. Um, you'll notice that they receive a whole lot of shadow and that they don't reflect a lot of light now. Something you can do to to work with this is you actually you can actually change the blade angle minimum down which will actually offset the blades of grass a bit turn them into some sort of like a desert palm turn the maximum angle down as well and much like the uh, blade width or height max and height min the uh, blade angle maximum and minimum dynamically modify each other's values and track bar ranges. Let's go ahead and turn the uh, blade width down a bit. Turn the camera light off. You can see these develop completely unique looking chunks of grass or weeds or whatever, whatever you want to call these. Now these have applications more than just for grass or for weeds. Um, yeah, you can actually use these for special effects if you want to. Um, let me go ahead and just turn this down to one, one object. Let's make one object real quick. And there it is. Now you can export this as a billboard if you want. So this could be some sort of a special effect billboard or if you wanted to you can go down from the side here take a billboard snapshot and use it for LOD if you wanted to. Uh, it's not limited to, to one limb. You can have several chunks of grass that you can create a billboard out of. Um, let's just use this for an example real quick of something you might want to use for special effects. Um, let's go ahead and give this some blue and some fuchsia and possibly some red coloring. Let's change that fuchsia to a little bit lighter. Maybe like more of a pink or mauve or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. So there's there's one of them. I mean you can't really call that a piece of grass. Not any piece of grass I've ever seen here but uh, if you're doing a sci-fi game or something outworldish this may work for you. Now all of the uh, options can be rendered in real time which allows you to see your results instantaneously now this is uh, designed to be plugged directly into Trainscape which would allow the user to see the results of several chunks of grass which is snapped to the terrain in real time it's not just snapped to the terrain but it also be angled with the normals so that's about it as far as this demonstration goes, and I hope you enjoyed it.